Thornton Smash is the fastest news in the Outlands. Pay attention. You might learn a thing or two. Mm. Oh, and, um, Mozambique here. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Hey everyone, Thornton Smash and Ragnar here, and today we're going to be talking about a new update that's launching a little bit earlier than expected that's going to fix some major problems we've been having and the new store rotation, which has some amazing returning skins we haven't seen for quite some time. We're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about Apex Legends. So let's go ahead and start off with talking about the store rotation, which will be going live tomorrow morning. We have a bunch of returning skins, such as the Valkyrie launch bundle, known as Birthright, will be coming back to the store that you can acquire. This will not be the Blue Bomber variant. Variant. We will also have the Octane Edition, which will be returning to the game as well, which will come with his Charge Rifle skin, Arachnoid. We also have the Barrel of Laughs Caustic Bundle, along with the Blazing Hot Gibby Bundle, Pathfinder Score Secured Bundle, and we are getting a bunch of recolors from the Champions Edition, which features the Roaring Guardian Crypto Recolor, and the Rev Champion Edition, which will also come with the matching Flatline Hell Shelf. When people originally saw this recolor, they thought it was for the recolor event, because we are getting a recolor store this season, as was found by Kral Rindo, but the only two skins that have actually been shown so far are this Hemlock along with this R301. There will be a bunch of other legendary weapon skins sold for this recolor store. The theme does seem to be yellow and blue, but we don't know anything about any flatline that could be in for that yet, along with any of the other weapon skins. Along with that, on Shrugtal's Discord server, it actually had a patch version put out for a release date tracking, and it's planned to go live this morning at the normal time that these usually release. Do keep in mind, it could always end up being pushed to the normal time on Tuesday. This was what was just found by Shrugtal's Discord server and what was pushed out. That being said, we do pretty much know what is coming in this fix. Respawn did say that when the season launched, they do know that the packs that you were supposed to get as you continue to level up with the new prestige level cap increase was not giving you packs nor Apex Legend tokens as was intended. Last week, they did let us know they had a quick update, but they were able to identify the cause and are aiming to roll out a fix next week, which would line up with what Shrugtal's Discord server found. Just so everyone's aware, Kral Rindo did post the way that that Apex packs will work with the level cap. It's pretty much the same as regular level one through 500. You can see the different breakdown here. You'll get a total of 115 packs per prestige with a total of three different prestiges you can do, which will allow you if you get to max level 2000 to get a free heirloom. The Apex packs was the number one thing that Respawn has stated that they are working on getting a fix out. So it makes sense that this is going to be the biggest one that we know confirmed coming today. Their Trello board also has a number of other fixes that aren't greenlit yet, such as banners incorrectly displaying players in rookie rank when they are not. Of course, players not getting their ranked rewards, which has been going on for pretty much the entirety of ranked itself. And there's a couple other things there. Unfortunately, none of them are greenlit, including the prestige level up reward. So it's unclear if they just haven't updated the board themselves. And they have done some stuff behind the scenes. iLoot Games actually pointed this out just the other day that they actually raised the entry cap for ranked. And there's an entire article on apexrank.com. But the key thing to note is that AG420 had actually found in the files. They actually raised it from 170 to 250. They didn't tell anyone about this. So stuff is being worked on that sometimes just doesn't get put out there publicly. This is probably to try to help the matchmaking, which has been a huge issue in Predator lobbies, along with the fact that people are climbing pretty much with 2000 RP gained a day at the top level. I don't know if it'll actually do much, but it does seem that this was their plan. Let me know down below what kind of bugs have you guys been dealing with this season so far and what skins are you hoping to get in the next door rotation or later on down in the line in the season. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there.